What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K23 Career Mode Series video, and today we're diving into the Week 21 Tournament, the RBC Canadian Open at St. George's Golf in CC. And Ryan Gamer is coming off the tournament of his career, the best tournament of his career, honestly. Ended up dominating in the PGA Championship, the Golf Club Championship, shot a 38 under, won by 14 strokes. And keep in mind, that tournament came after the worst tournament of Ryan Gamer's career, a three over par at the, Fel the Wells Fargo Championship at Quell Hollow Club. So Ryan Gamer kicked it in another gear, was playing upset after his performance in the tournament prior, and dominated from start to finish last week. But we go to a course this week, St. George's, and it is extremely tough. Ryan Gamer plays very similar to Quell Hollow historically on this golf course. So we are looking to somehow figure out how to dominate these extremely tough greens. And then next week, we have the U.S. Open, the Northwest Open at Pinehurst number two, another major tournament. So this week's tournament will be two rounds. The next one, the U.S. Open will, of course, be four rounds there at Pinehurst. So it's time to focus up. Let's not have a repeat of the Wells Fargo. Let's have a repeat of last week's major championship. That was insane. The best golf I have ever played in this video game was just striping the ball reading greens to perfection and hopefully we can continue that ride gamers atop the fedex cup standings with tiger woods in second lydia ko in third john rom fourth and justin thomas fifth let's do this if you all get some enjoyment drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe for more and you can check the full playlist down in the description if you're looking for more episodes and ride gamer is a five sport five sport multi-sport athlete right now Tune into his other sporting endeavors as well. The end will be the show. 24 one has been epic. I highly recommend it. Cheers, everybody. Let's have a big round one. 2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the RBC Canadian Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round, and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Certainly excited to seeing this one. Strap yourselves in. Hey, today's the day. Let's have a big start here at St. George's. Ryan's going to have to find a way to dominate this golf course. Uh, so Doc the Caddy, her main advice to Ryan going into this round was to hit fairways and don't do what he did at Quell Hollow. Uh, so that that's the advice Doc gave. That's actually great advice. And hey, this video is being posted. It's going to be posted on April 11th, the start of the Masters. Go ahead and make your pick for the 2024 Masters in a comment down below. Of course, if you have not watched the Masters yet, it could be that the Masters is already went on when you're watching this video you're watching it well past that date i was so pumped for the masters keep in mind i'm re i'm recording this video well before so i don't know any updates on the i haven't checked the weather at least at this point in time so i don't know how the weather's going to be hopefully it's going to be good i cannot wait my pick is scotty scheffler scotty scheffler's been dominating i think he's going to win the 2024 masters and let's see what he can do here today no practice swing. Wasn't feeling nervous, apparently. Didn't try to get the nervous jitters out. Just sent it. Ryan Gamer battled East Lake early, earlier this week in the Tour Championship. Ah, that's not the shot he was hoping for. In EA Sports PGA Tour Second career. Shot here on the it was post. electric. I'm telling you all, if you missed the EA Sports career mode episode this week. Round two of the Tour Championship. Ryan Gamer starts off terrible. But just wait till you see the comeback in that round. The fight. That was epic. One of, one of Ryan's best performances, honestly. 52 yards, uphill 15 feet. We're sitting in the heavy rough. The thing about this golf course, we hit the fairway. But of course, you get some interesting bounces here. Gotta put this up. Such a tough shot. That's perfect. Putting for birdie here. 
If only we could do that every time, right? What? Perfectly striped. Rarely ever before seen. Seven footer uphill two inches. Steady right to left. These are the ones we made all last week. Ooh, nice line. Yes. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Hey, we need all the birdies we can get on this course, trust me. <laughs> we need to birdie early and often. Because the bogeys are going to happen. Troy Merritt, 6 under through 12. Matt Fitzpatrick, 5 under. Okay, so they came to play this week. Where was that last the week? Second hole here at St. George's they, they didn't play Club bad last long, week. Strong powerful. Ryan just it dominated. Is. Just around the 475 yard mark, this fairway does slope significantly left to right. So the drives can easily find that fairway bunker down the right hand side. Nice little draw into the wind, right into the middle of the fairway. I just realized I haven't drank any water today. Basically, only coffee. <laughs> I've, drank, I've drank some water. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Penny, what have they got in front of them here? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Okay, 176, uphill five. Eight iron in hand is going to be way too short. Eight mile an hour wind. I love the six iron here. But this one lend it a bit short. Close. Looks to be going with the six iron. This Swing is feeling like good. I mean, it, it, somehow the wind did not affect that at all on a perfectly hit That's a tad shot. Wood. Not quite finding the surface. I don't really understand that, but it happened, so... thought the wind was going to affect it more. And the thing about that, I put full lofted backspin. If you don't... That ball is gone on these greens. These are fast greens, 146, and honestly, they play faster than that usually. They just, they, they're just fast, and you don't put a lot of shot shaping. You're in trouble. Look at Troy Merritt, seven under through 13. All right, they came to play here at St. George's. St. George's Golf and Country Club. Beautiful looking par three. Yes, a narrow green, but very deep bunker surrounding it on both sides. This is a heck of a par three. Yeah, we got 199 downhill 20. Looking at a four iron with full backspin almost. Be a tough shot. Going with the four iron here. Well, tempo was good. Swing playing, we don't talk about. Well, we're dancing. It's not an easy dance. Setting up miles from the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. 46 footer, downhill one foot. Okay, so the game crashed, but due to its great autosave feature, we can go right back where we were. The game was so scared of this putt that it crashed, right? It's like, no, no, I don't want to, I don't want Ryan to have to putt this one. So here we go, 46 footer, downhill one foot, steady, right to left. Let's send this putt into the hole. This one looking really good. What? Get in oh, there. Well hold. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. <laughs> what? Am I dreaming? <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> what can I say? It's just, just an easy putt. 46 footer. It's gimme rage. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> At minus two, coming along nicely today. Okay, get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. That just happened. The first of the par fives is the fourth hole, Rich. Yes, this hole used to be a par four, but was extended back in 1968 for the Canadian Open. It's a nice opportunity here to get a stroke back after the opening three holes. But watch out, this fairway gets tough to find with the slope that moves it from right to left. Landing area gets very narrow. Did they say this is a par? This is supposed to be a par five, or did they say it used to be a par five and they turned it into a par four? I missed that. I I still can't believe that putt. I don't even. 
Our putting these past few weeks have been insane. What? What just happened? I still am trying to run that through my brain. I was just trying to get that. I was just hoping to get it within a f like five feet. That's what the best putt I've ever hit. Here, yeah, what? He's got around 125 here. <laughs> the game might have been afraid of that. <laughs> Ryan Gamer wasn't afraid. <laughs> I mean, what? 125 yards, uphill 30 feet. Hard to follow up that one. Gonna go f a little bit of loft and backspin. Get this up. Close. You all just witnessed the putt of my career on this game. That, that was nuts. Yep, he's putting Rosie's nosy out of joint with that one. That was an incredible approach. We are playing some what golf. An opportunity to make a birdie. Let's send this in. I'm just fired up for the Masters, you know? Surely it's going to. And with that putt hold, it's back to back birdies. I mean, it's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. I said now we better birdie early and often. <laughs> I did say that. Was I expecting to be three under through four here? No shot. St. George's is a par four, Rich. I'm not yeah, complaining. It plays downhill into a valley that kind of moves away from the tee box. So you should see players hit it down there with some distance, leaving a short second shot. I've been working on my swing a whole lot. So I've been working on my swing a whole lot, and it's really been paying off recently. So let's keep doing that, right? That's a good looking shot there. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Okay, we got 136, uphill 5. Let's go... Ah, not pitching wedge. Let's go 8 iron and attack this. Because we can put this on the backboard here. I have to hit a good partial here, which is not easy to do. And choosing the 8 iron here. Or that was an interesting swing. He dodged him yeah, somehow. Hit the mark on that approach. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our you know, leader. Ryan broke the record in EA Sports PGA Tour for most fans hit in a regular season and postseason. This I don't. He doesn't have that record here in PGA 2K23. He's a lot more accurate here. It's hard to imagine, right? You are like, what do you mean, Ryan is more accurate here? Than an EA PGA Tour. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you all, it's not even close. Ah. It's not even close. <laughs> when fans are within 10, 10 to 20 feet, they fear Ryan Gamer on the tee in EA. Uh, he, they fear him. Should roll all the way down there, right? Oh, I needed a bit more on it. I thought it would roll all the way down. Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? Setting up this putt 10 feet from the cup. So, this for par. Wow, this is a tough one. We got 11 feet or 10 feet here. Downhill one inch. A big left to right breaking putt. One time. This one's dialed in. We can't miss these past few weeks. The this guy is putting the lights out of it this week. Trailing by four strokes. I don't know what I've changed. What? Lydia Ko, seven under through five. No way. The sixth hole requires a strong tee shot here at this par three. This hole can play anywhere from 170 to 200 plus there, Luke. Don't miss it right or left, though. Those bunkers are nasty. <laughs> Did that just say that Lydia Ko is seven under through five holes? Okay, well, uh, apparently Lydia Ko is uh, mad after what Ryan did last week. Remember what I said? The AI, like, sometimes they struggle and sometimes they dominate. Okay, well.
Oh, I thought we were playing good. Oh, clearly, <laughs> clearly not good enough. Well, uh, did Lydia Cole have a couple eagles? A couple aces? Something appears to be glitched. <laughs> Maybe that happened when the game crashed? I don't even know. What? There ain't no way. We've seen the AI do some crazy stuff, but I've never seen that. That's perfect. It's going to roll down. Go in the hole. Is it going to roll all the way off? Welcome to St. George's, everybody. <laughs> it's going to roll all the way down. Oh, no, it's going to stop. Yep, wow. that shot safely on the green. Still a good shot. Setting up here with a very long putt. 33 footer, uphill one foot. It's left to right at the beginning and then switches back at the end. This might be straight in. Honestly. Maybe a little bit left edge, like outside left edge. We can't miss from downtown and gets it to drop. And that will take him to four under. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. What an I, amazing part from way out. I don't know how I've been so locked in on the greens lately in this game. I don't know how, but hey, I'm here for it. <laughs> this is nuts. Thank you all for the one time. So you all dropping one times today? Who leads here as we head to the next. There's no way. Lydia Ko is eight under through six. That has to be a glitch. Face a par four now. We're on the same settings. There is no way that has to be a glitch. There's no way she's gonna finish better than Birdie Golf. <laughs> and if she does. I mean, what do you do? Handy effort, that one. That's insane. Time for the second shot here at the seven. Okay, 104 up 19, and we have a backboard to use. I actually like the pitch here. You don't see me hit this shot a lot, but I actually really like it in this position. No, I, I do like it, but a sand wedge is going to be perfect. This should play. Oh, almost went in. Yeah, I think a that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that'll do. Confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. You know, and when you have confidence, to the top five. I say this a lot, but when you have confidence in golf and baseball, it changes everything. I'd say when you have confidence in every sport, but like the two sports I think of, confidence in golf, like you just feel like you can't miss. Confidence in baseball, when you start to get dialed in, you know, when I get locked in and MLB The Show 24, but you're seeing the ball so well. It's very similar to this game. That there's so, such, both games are so rewarding because they're very challenging. But when you're playing good, it's just, it's insane. We have so much momentum. Let's get another birdie. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Hey, Lydia Ko, I don't know so what is happening out there. Tony Finau like is in to second. Your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Good to see Tony Finau bouncing back after a tough last week. Now, this part of three, you basically have to fade or draw this one in, which is what I'm going to do on this shot. I'm actually going to draw a four hybrid into the green. I've been working on my shot shaping. We'll see if I've been working on it enough. going with the hybrid yeah that'll play what a There's shot a momentum saver here getting this up and down <laughs> I mean with the way we're putting shouldn't we putt this like what is this a 16 footer steady left to right I mean a whole lot of left to right I don't know if we should put this. I think we can, though. 
I wish you could remove the pin when you're on the fringe, but you can only remove it when you're on the green. This is going to be a tough one. Ouch, that hurts. Well, I think it's safe to say we should have tipped it. <laughs> well, yeah, we Ryan needed to be humbled, you know? Ryan's been putting way too good, and this course needed to humble Ryan. Yeah, you just... That was nuts. That can happen on these greens. They're tricky at times. Putting yeah, I'd con, say, yeah. Rich, I'd say they're tricky. <laughs> I mean, what? At this one, this one's breaking five different ways. Like, it switches. It's left to right, right to left, left to right, left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left... What? Anybody got this read? <laughs> I'm gonna go straight. Maybe right edge. Come on, ball. Come on. Too firm. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? I, that would have been and another one. We're on. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Hey, at least Lydia Code. Did it go 9 through 8? John Rom 8 through 9. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. Are they all mad? Are they all mad after last week? What in the world has happened? I thought we're playing good golf here. You know, AI dominates in low wins sometimes, but I've never seen them dominate like this. Never seen them dominate like this. Remember when I said that. It's sometimes you just never know. Well, I present to you this scoreboard. This shot the leaderboard. What in the world? Yards. We better Albi this. Like, we're playing good golf. Four under through eight. But they're playing possible golf. Let's send this. Send this one. Going to come off to the left. The wind's going to blow it to the left. We need an Albi. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's gone. This one headed left. Slight fast. Swing plane was all over the place. Got a great bounce. Look at that. Yeah, disappointing not to find the surface, Rich, but I like that play. We could chip this in. A mighty wallop to get there, but in a good position. Say it might take a mighty wallop. A what? Send this one in. Gonna come off to the right. Didn't get enough on it that we had the line. Chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. Big bird though. Yeah, that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last, and he'll move into the top ten. What a great round though. I mean, five under could should be six well, under. I'm interested in my buddy Beamer's thoughts at this duel after nine holes. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Yeah, Justin Rose is really struggling right now. I don't know if I'd say really struggling. Really struggling was Ryan Gamer at the end of Quell Hollow at the Wells Fargo. That was really struggling. You know, Rose is, what is he, one over? That's not bad. Second shot here at the 10th. Okay, 42 yards uphill, 6 feet. I love the flop here. No shot shaping. That was interesting and very interesting swing. Not afraid to go deep. This putt's for six under par. Perfect distance this control. For a birdie, birdie run. We made one like this earlier. Ten feet. A whole lot of left to right on this ten footer. I mean, what? Anybody got any ideas? My idea is send it way left and just hope it goes in. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. And that will take him to six under. I, I don't know. Let's just move on. Here. Perfect strategy. See, I need to do that more often. <laughs> just aim to the left and send it. What? In this hole, we could call what? Serpentine, maybe, Luke? Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. However... Don't get bit and leave it short right in that bunker off the tee because you 
will be rattled. That's a fantastic drive. That ball was smashed. 106 blast off the tee. Nicely done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, this is straight back into the breeze. Going to be a tough one. Yeah, I th honestly, I think we just go for the middle of the green. Like, nothing fancy. It's going to come off to the right. The wind's going to try to pull it back. Just get on the green, make a putt. With the way we're dancing, we can dance from anywhere. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That should find the bunker. Slowed it. Swing plane well, was perfection. Like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. Gotta believe the wind affected the golf ball there. That wasn't the wind. That was the slow. The tempo was off there. The wind couldn't help us. But I'm going to do a full lofted backspin splash. The problem with this shot, with the down slope, very easy to get away from you. Just got to barely lend this on the green. Wow. Just miss hit it. Phase one complete. Uh, You've got to make a good putt here. And as they stand over this putt, it's for a sheer... This is, this is such a scary putt. Ten feet, downhill two inches. It's left to right, but it's also downhill. And if you hit this putt too far, that ball's gone. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers. I should probably drink some water. I've been drinking so much coffee. Lydia Ko, can you settle down? This is like the third tournament this season where she's just dominating. momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. It's happened like three times this year where she's just went on a tear. Okay. Clearly, we're not pay playing good enough. It's my best round on this golf course. Four. That hit him or did it go? <laughs> did it go really right through him? Pretty sure of that. They need to add hit markers Getting to the fans, right? They're not ghosts the out there. Shot, but they got lucky with this lie. I'm pretty sure that ball was hit so hard by Ryan Gamer. It's like the Flash. You know how the Flash, the superhero, phases through stuff. That ball was hit like the Flash, and it just phased right through those fans. Ryan's got a—he's a superhero. You didn't know that? You didn't know Ryan Gamer was the Flash? How do you think he plays all these sports at the same times and gets to every location? <laughs> 57 yards, uphill 12. Let's go lob wedge. Should be a perfect club out of this lie. That's perfection. Just... Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. It's just about three feet away. I don't even know what to say. Today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Oh, what a stroke. And now this player sits in second behind the leader. When you're on, you're on. Lydia Ko. That's all there is to play, it. Moving up the leaderboard. Lydia Ko is now about to... Team, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Lydia Ko is about to shoot the lowest score we've ever seen in this career mode series. She's about to shoot 18 under. She's 12 under. Going to steal this trophy away from us. I mean, clearly she's earning it. She's dominating out there, but here we go. Going with the hybrid. Oh, better be careful out there. It's it should funnel down, down left, left to left, right, right? 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 I mean, have we not hit some of the best golf shots these past few weeks? This one's going to be painful because it's rolling off the green. That was still a great shot. Oh, we're on the green. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Oh, 13-footer coming up here. 13-footer. here. Uphill six inches. Steady left to right. He 
This one's tracking. Yes! Well, that'll play. Just so much confidence. The, the cup looks like it's, like, double the size. I don't, I don't know what's happening, but these past, really, two weeks of this game, I have been reading putts so much better. Position. But we're losing by three. This... This is like the best I've ever played in this game. And we're playing good against the rest now of the we'll field, but not against good. Lydia. Fired up and ready for more. You can't keep this up, right? We're about to shoot the round of Ryan Gamer's career and lose by five strokes. <laughs> Did somebody give Lydia Ko a big pep talk out there? Is that one of you all? How did she come ready to play? Ryan made her mad last week. And they're playing from about I don't think I called her out. Three shots off the lead. Pretty sure I complimented her. She's been dominating recently, and then, you know, she didn't play as well last week. I think is all I said. Clearly, she took that personal. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say she took that pretty personal, actually. Going with the pitching wedge here. They've decided to club up. Needed a bit more. Good shot, but... Well, well played. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Yeah, I'm going to be aggressive. We're going to send this in with confidence. Looking good. Yes, they've made it. I, I'm not going to say a word. I'm not even looking at the bottom of the screen there. I'm just going to drink my coffee and yeah, be on our way to the next hole. On the leaderboard. Uh, I just want to point out, I've never put well on this golf course ever. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. So. When you're on, you're on. You know, golf is one of those games. <laughs> when you're on, you're on. And sometimes I'm completely off. Yeah, you all have seen that plenty of times. Oh, well done. With an elevated approach ahead, they'll have to make sure they've got enough club. The crazy thing is, is if you haven't played this course, you may not realize how tough these golf holes are. These pin locations and these greens are really tough. We're hitting the right spots. We're making insane putts. And I'm going three hybrid. I'm a three hybrid. Three wood. A little bit of backspin. Attacking this up that upslope and going for an Albi. Why not? At this point. <laughs> I mean, if there's a round and Albi's going to happen, it's this one. And then we'll still lose by 20 strokes because of Lydia Cole. I'm going to come off to the right. Going with a three wood here. Underswung. And it really, that was the uphill live we got to account for. Know, it wasn't an underswing. That's exactly what I was going for. They imagine their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. I actually overswung oh, a little. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Let's make this. Ooh, got a little away nice. from me. Come on, Ryan. For a here. Eight feet, steady right to left, downhill four inches. It's looking solid. Our first lip out. We can't complain because we've got every lip in. Oh, I had a feeling it was going to break more. I believe... Hole. That is our first missed putt on the, maybe our second, second of this tournament. Solid. Yeah, we had that one putt from the fringe, right? And we goes. missed the one coming up there. That should never be a par. That should never be a par. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. I overhit that chip shot. That's on me. Hey, we played a flawless round. We can't really be too upset, but Lydia Ko is dominating. Stretch here, Rich. If you want to win a national championship, you've got to step up. First hole, the 16th, a very good par three. 
this is the most difficult par three on the golf yeah, course say. by a long shot. Stanley Thompson added some bunkers to the rear of this green just to make the golfers accountable for their distance control. I mean, we've got That's to fade this, mean. add spin, one of the meanest shots you'll hit. We're going to try it, though. Opting for the four iron here. Get up, get up. That's not a bad effort. Not bad at all. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. If I put this on this right side, hit it pretty aggressive, we might be able to hold this. You gotta hit it. I was trying to hit the upper part of that slope. That's on me. Wow. This golf hole always crushes me. We're not running this round. <laughs> Ryan's about to throw his shot. putter. Just three strokes back. Is Ryan mad? Yeah, I'd say he's pretty upset. Ryan almost threw his putter into the stands. Or not his putter. His wedge. What's happening? Putting has been exceptional. These chip shots are killing us these past few holes. Up here. Eleven feet downhill one. We gotta make this. Just didn't drop. Just three feet to the cup. Heartbreaking. That's all you can say on that. Lydia got a bogey. Hey, you got a bogey, and we would have been within two. Couple of strong par fours to finish here at Stanley Thompson's masterpiece, St. George's. Very good par four. Let's finish strong. It is. It started off as a par five and now just plays as an enormous par four. Fairway does camber pretty good from right to left, so you got to challenge that bunker down the right hand side off the tee. We were in fine position off the tee on that last hole too. Just a poorly executed chip shot. That's a tough chip. What are we looking at but here, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. That's three poorly executed chip shots this round. 174, a little bit of wind. We've got to attack. We've got to attack this and go right for it. Got a birdie. Going with the six iron here. This, one this is like not the right. time to lose our swing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. You all are starting to get nervous the for the impossible challenge tomorrow. <laughs> if you're watching this the day it goes live, you all had like that look in your eyes like Ryan's about to complete this impossible challenge series. And then you all see how that swing kind of got worse here towards the back. That's not the confidence we need going into Central Park AG. Oh my, let's hit this close. Wake up, Ryan. Where are these overswings coming from? Time now for the fourth shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Well, the problem is you can't use your putter on every shot. And that's what Ryan's facing right now. You know, Doc Doc keeps handing Ryan a club and he just keeps handing, grabbing the putter. And Doc is like, Ryan, you're 340 yards away. You want to putt that? And Ryan just has that look on his face like, oh yeah. <laughs> So Doc had to just take the putter away, so Ryan didn't take the putter off the tees, so there's that. Gonna come left to right, right there at that first grid line, then right to left, right to left the entire way. That's huge. Oh, that had eyes for Fancy shot. putt right there. Well, I think that warrants another look. Let's see that again. That's huge. We needed that big time. That's a huge save. If we want to have a chance to win here in the final round, we've got to get one more birdie. Maybe even an eagle. 
We've hit some putts today. This has been an exceptional display of putting. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Only a couple missed. Look, Lydia Cole, Brooke Henderson, 12 under 10. Keegan Bradley, 10. I mean, we're sitting sixth place of so my best round Northern on this golf Georgia's course. Golf and Country Club Rich is a strong par four. All right. It certainly is that. It was originally a par five as well. It's converted to a long par four to make it a little bit more challenging for the Canadian Open. Plays uphill all the way to a steep green. And the beauty of this whole loop is the magnificent clubhouse in the background. Well, that's a tough miss fairway. To this is not a good place to be. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's exactly what we need to hear. 73, 81% on the probably the hardest green on this course. That part three earlier is probably the second hardest. This is probably the hardest. I mean, uphill, very difficult shot in the rough. I'm going up to five iron here. This is insane. Looks to be going with the five iron. Get up. Get up. That's perfect. Perfect distance control. Getting ready to play there, third. We have to chip Four this. Strokes off the, lead. the break's too much at the beginning. Full off to backspin. We gotta put this out to the left. I'm gonna practice swing. I am not overhitting this. Oh, you all are like, I'll believe it when I see it, Ryan. Yeah, I will too. Oh, I didn't overhit it. The crazy thing is, I was trying to hit it harder than that. It's a good thing I didn't. Very crafty, that shot. Love watching this player around the greens. Ryan looks upset, oh, Ryan. That was one of the best shots of the day. I understand why he's upset. I I'm upset, too. We've had a, a phenomenal round, almost a round of this career mode series. And then these last few holes have been extremely tough. It's still some of the best putting we've ever displayed. My well, best round on this course. Line. And another round safely in the books. And as they finish up their round, they find themselves in sixth place on the leaderboard. And 18 holes of sensational fun is in store for us tomorrow, Luke. Just watch out. You talk about a turnaround. Lydia Cole, 12 under. Brooke Henderson, 10 under. Keegan Bradley, 10. John Rom, number a four at nine under tommy fleetwood in tied in fourth place at nine under ryan gamer tied with jason you got maverick and then tiger woods there could we get another tiger woods ryan gamer pairing that would be awesome so the, we're not actually we're not going to have that there's only one round left so it'll be lydia co and brooke henderson keegan bradley john rom ryan gamer and tommy fleetwood Jason and maverick and then tiger woods not sure who he will be playing with justin rose shot even we, we dominated on the greens. We just, honestly, that one double, we should be within two strokes. But if we play like that in the next round, I don't think there's a shot I can putt that well again. That, that was the best display of putting I've ever had. I've never done that before. What was our putting? 76 fairways, believe it or not, but greens are overrated, apparently. Fairways overrated, I mean, because we only hit 66% of greens despite hitting 76 fairways. We hit that 45-foot putt, driving distance of 322. Proximity hole was not the best, 23 feet, but a one-putt percentage of 83. That is the best putting I've ever had in this video game. It's not even close. Putting actually was 100 short, medium long, 70%. How do you putt? Well, you do exactly what we did in that round. That was insane. These were not easy putts. That is the best putting I have ever had in this video game. It is not even close. A birdie conversion rate of 91%. 12 birdies made 91%. That is on another level. To think that we're not within four not within a stroke of the leader or in the lead is insane. That's how well they played today. 11 birdies, 5 pars, 1 bogey, and 1 double. The, that's crazy to think about. We had 11 birdies, but then a bogey and a double. You hate to see it. It's going to happen, but you hate for it to happen there. Without those, we're 11 under. Right there, Lydia Ko just shot a 58 at St. George's Golf in CC. Apparently, she was mad after what Ryan Gamer did last week. Clearly... I don't think that we said all we said was that she did not play as well as she had had been. <laughs> That's all I said. Clearly, 
clearly Lydia Ko took that personal and came out and played the round of the season. Okay. Well, I'm going to need all your all's one times and positive encouraging comments going into the final round. We got one round left in this tournament and we're, we're going to have to shoot 14 under or better to win it probably. If Lydia Ko comes out and does the same thing, we have to do exactly what we did. That is by far the best I've ever played. My, we made a couple mistakes. That's by far the best putting I've ever shown in this video game at an extremely difficult course. Those were not easy putts. That was nuts. I'm going to watch that back again when I edit this and like watch those putts. That was insane. Thank you all for the one times. The one times we're dropping today, YouTube. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and check the full playlist in the description to see if the other video in this tournament has been posted and to catch up on other videos you may have missed and ryan's he's a multi-sport athlete here on the channel you can check out his other sporting endeavors by checking the playlist in the description or just checking the channel page new videos every single day here on the gamer ability youtube channel more on my second channel as well gamer ability to get on over there subscribe to the second channel as well i'd greatly appreciate it i will see you next time as always have a fantastic day everybody